Cordova Library with more stories for story time at the library. Today we're doing stories about our homes, the places where we live. It doesn't have to be a house. It can be an apartment. It can be something else altogether. But before we do anything, of course, we have to have, have our good morning song. Are you ready? Here we go. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With the friends of story time, we wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With the friends of story time, we wave and sing hello. Good job. All right, let's get ready for our first story. Here's our first story about your home. It's called The Napping House by Audrey Wood. Let's see what happens. There is a house, a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Shh. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed, and a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Shh. Whoops. And on the bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Shh. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Shh. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Shh. And on that dog, there is a cat, a snoozing cat on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Shh. And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Shh. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea on a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Shh. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse, who scares the cat, who claws the dog. who dumps the child, who bumps the granny, who breaks the bed. In a napping house where no one now is sleeping. The end. Now, let's have another story about our house. This is one of my favorites. It's called The Bubble Bath Pirates by Jarrett Kosowski. Bath time, calls the pirate mommy. Arr! Call out her little pirates. Yo ho, yo ho, it's off to the bath we go. The water's just right, said Pirate Money. All hands on deck, say her little pirates. Walk the plank, commands the Pirate Mummy. Aye, aye, matey, say her little pirates. Here's your washcloth, says Pirate Mummy. 
Raise the sails, command her little pirates. Don't forget to scrub under your arms, pleads the pirate mummy. Ahoy, our arms be ticklish, giggled the little pirates. Close your eyes, warns the pirate mummy. Blimey, mumbled the little pirates. Make sure you scrub your back, says pirate mummy. Shiver me timbers, say the little pirates. Bath time is over, says pirate mummy. Prepare the cannons, yell her little pirates. Five, four, three, two, one. Boop! Glug, 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 glug. Okay. Now who wants buried treasure in the kitchen? Asked Pirate Mummy. Gangway! Yelled her little pirates. Yo ho, yo ho, we're now so sparkling clean. We're off to get our bounty of chocolate fudge ice cream. The and now we have one more story about your home. It's called Tell Me Something Happy Before I Go to Sleep by Joyce Dunbar. Willa was tired, so Willa went to bed. She lay with her pillows this way and that way and another way, but Willa couldn't sleep. Willa Bree called Willa, are you there? Yes, he answered. I'm here. I can't sleep, said Willa. Why can't you sleep, he said. I'm afraid. What are you afraid of, asked Willoughby. I'm afraid I might have a bad dream, she said. Think of something happy, then you won't have a bad dream. So Willa tried to think of something happy, but she couldn't. Willoughby, she called, are you still there? Yes, he answered. I'm still here. What can I think of that's happy, asked Willa. Oh, lots of things, said Willoughby. Tell me, tell me something happy before I go to sleep. Willoughby thought for a moment. Then he said, Willa, look under the bed. So Willa leaned over and looked under her bed. What do you see, he asked. I see my chicken slippers, asked Willa. That's right, said Willoughby. And do you know what your chicken slippers are doing? No, I don't. They're waiting, just waiting, for nobody's feet but yours. Good, said Willa. That's happy. What else? What do you see on the chair, asked Willoughby. I see my blue and white jumpsuit, said Willa. Do you know what your jumpsuit is doing, asked Willoughby. No, I don't. It's longing, just longing for tomorrow when you will jump out of bed and put it on. Good, said Willa, that's happy. What else? Willoughby picked Willa up in his arms and padded softly downstairs to the kitchen. He opened the pantry door. What do you see on these shelves, said Willoughby. I see bread and honey and oats and milk and apples, said Willa. That's right, said Willoughby, all waiting to be made into breakfast for you and me to share. Oh, good, said Willa. That's happy. What else? Willoughby carried Willa into the living room and switched on the lamp. What do you see in the corner, he asked. I see my basket full of toys, said Willa. And what do you think they're doing? I don't know, said Willa. They're dreaming, dreaming of tomorrow and the games you're going to play. That's very happy, said Willa. What else? Willoughby carried Willa to the window and opened the curtains wide. What do you see in the darkness, asked Willoughby. I see only the night, said Willa. And what do you think the night is doing? I don't know, said Willa. The night is waiting, waiting for the morning, which is on its way around the world. That's happy, said Willa. The morning is waiting too, said Willoughby. What for, asked Willa. Oh, lots of things. What things? 
for grass to grow, flowers to bloom, and leaves to flutter, for clouds to float, and wind to blow, and sun to shine, for birds to fly, and bees to buzz, and ducks to quack. That's a lot of happy things. There's just one sad thing, said Willoughby. What's that? The morning is waiting for you too. It's waiting to wake you up. But I'm awake already, said Willa. That's why it's sad, said Willoughby. The morning likes waking you up. That's what makes the morning happy. Willoughby, asked Willa, what is it? I'm tired. So Willoughby carried Willa back to bed. What do you see in your bed? I see my bear. What do you think he is doing? He's waiting for me to snuggle up with him. That's right, said Willoughby, waiting especially for you. And when the morning comes and wakes me up, will you still be here, asked Willa? I'll still be here. Good, said Willa, that's the happiest thing of all. Good night, Willa. But Willa didn't answer. She was sound asleep. The end. Now, we had lots of stories about our house. Let me show you a craft that you can do. I print a picture of a house off of the internet and I glued it down, but I left it open so that you can open it and draw your own house. The living room and bedroom and kitchen and stairs and everything that's in your house, you can draw and then close the house and you're done. That's it for houses and homes. See you next time. Now, thank you for sharing stories and crafts with me for the library about our homes. Before we end, let's have our goodbye song. Are you ready? Here we go. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them them lay them in your lap 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 roll them roll them roll them roll them roll them just like this shake them shake them shake them shake them blow a little kiss open them shut them open them shut them Try to touch the sky. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Time to wave goodbye. Bye-bye from the library and stories. See you again soon.